traffic. 26 westbound. You rated to 70 miles an hour coming down the hill. I paced you at 70 to 71 miles an hour. Were you aware? Were you aware you're going that fast? No, I wasn't. <laughs> So decades and decades and decades this has been being used incorrectly? Yes. That blows my mind. Well, I can prove it. Then I have the cameras. I have actually three cameras. So we're cruising down the road. And you're going about 30 because that's the speed limit. 27, 29, 30, 29. Cruising along. The light turns yellow. You turn your right turn and now it's red. And now you just got a ticket. Let's do, should we do some right hand turns? Okay. Try to stop or go on the, on the right hand turn now. So just ran a red light. Well, that maybe made my maybe made my point there. Yep, I just ran a red light. The way red light cameras work, if the light is still yellow when you enter the intersection, you won't get a ticket. Jarlsham says some drivers are getting caught in a no man's land. They have a green light when they slow down to make a right turn when suddenly the light turns yellow. They're not going fast enough to make it into the intersection before the light turns red. They're going too fast to stop before the light turns red. There's a point where you have to make a decision, a point of no return. Exactly. And they're, they're not giving you enough time to do it. I will enter on the red because the, the yellow is not long enough when uh, you're making a right-hand turn. Jarlstrom says you can see the problem in real life in Beaverton by looking at the history of red light tickets. Up until 2010, Beaverton only issued tickets for drivers running red lights going straight. That year, there were more than 1,700. But in 2011, when Beaverton began handing out tickets for right-hand turns, the total number jumped to more than 5,000 and then nearly 8,000. Last year, the ratio was still lopsided. 2,000 for going straight, more than 5,000 for turning right. Why is no one willing to listen? I don't know. We have a problem. And since I'm bringing up that problem to the Board of Engineers, they turn it around and want to kill the messenger.